Hey, it's Dr. Ryan Ball from Prosper Health Clinics. We're nearly done with testosterone. So the next thing that we're doing is trauma. So as weird as that is, trauma to the gland, so this is testes in this situation, can cause low testosterone. So certainly if you get hit in the uh in the nutsack enough times you're gonna have low testosterone but what i'm more focusing on here is autoimmunity so you can get autoimmune antibodies to the testicles and that can cause uh lower and lower uh levels of testosterone over time and this is one of those moments where you know if an 18 year old or a kid in their 20s comes to you with low testosterone or if you are like that and you go to a place and they just put you on androgel or they put you on a synthetic hormone replacement, it's not such a good thing because you're gonna need more and more over time as more and more testicular tissue is broken down. And you know, eventually this person's not gonna be able to have kids even. So you really don't wanna miss that. You don't wanna just be giving a kid testosterone for the rest of their life when they have an autoimmune disease. This is horrible. Um, and, and I have seen that in my practice. I have seen a person who was 18, year old, 18 years old when they were given androgel, and this is wrong. Um, probable autoimmunity at the time, um, and possibly some other issues going on. So really wanna look at this, especially in the younger population. If they're 50, 60, and they are having low testosterone, it's probably one of these other things and it, notice that I'm not saying they're just old, so they need it. Um, I'm looking more 75 plus for that stuff. Um, but if they're young, they probably have an autoimmune disease and, and that's a big problem. So go ahead, um, definitely get that checked out. It, it's harder than it used to be to get testicular antibodies checked, uh, but it, it still can be done. It's expensive, but it, it, it's, it's, it's worth doing if, if a person's young, you don't wanna miss that. Uh, this is Dr. Ryan Ball from Prosper Health Clinics. Uh, hoping you have a great day and are learning more about testosterone.